right, we are going to do this short and sweet. Getting my docs in a row here. Welcome back, Dork Witch again. This is my <laughs> third video of the day. I uh, had a lot of decks to unbox, and yes, I change outfits frequently, um, but I definitely change to accommodate how I, how comfortable I want to be when I'm on video. Um, and you know, like handling things. I don't know, just something fun I do. Not fun. I don't know what it is. It's great. So I am going to talk to you about, hold on one second, close that. Very good. Very good. All right, I'm still just keeping an eye on that chat to make sure that does not happen again. Ah, oh, there we go. Much better. All right, fam. This is your door glitch speaking. I ordered this deck uh, from Etsy about the same time that I ordered the, oh my God, which one? Oh, the, uh, the mystery box deck, uh, the same day I ordered it. And uh, the mystery box from a different seller ended up being the, um, oh, what's it called? Nightmare Before Christmas deck, which was perfect and delightful. And I'm really thrilled that I, I got it. Uh, but this one is an indie deck, if I'm not mistaken. It is, this is how it came shipped into my mailbox, USPS. And, oh, I can reuse this. Oh my gosh, it's so little. It is smaller than I thought it was going to be. And I do not have any complaints about that. I was just complaining about how big the other decks were. This is the Outdoors Oracle. And... It's a 54 card deck, it looks like. This is, it feels like a little smaller than a deck of cards. Like it's very, very little. Um, but you know what, that's handy. Here's why I wanted this deck. Oh, look at all. This is such a good box. I'm going to be reusing that box. Um, very minimalist on packaging, big fan of that. Uh, but this is, I think it may be a husband wife team who design and publish and write the deck. Uh, well, forgive me, maybe there's no writing. Um, I don't know if there's any type of a guidebook in this. It is not, so be it. But the reason I was so interested in this one uh, is because I used to work in outdoor recreation. I was a wilderness instructor at a boarding school for a while um, up in Maine. That was amazing. It was a very unique experience, as you could imagine. <laughs> um, but I have uh, a big background in um, survival training, uh, wilderness education, adventure recreation, that kind of thing. And I was actually thrilled to see this, uh, to see this deck. So let's talk about the box. Oh, it's so little, especially after handling those huge decks like the, uh, the movie tarot and the kawaii tarot. Kawaii tarot. Uh, today, like it's just so little, it fits in the palm of my hand. Thrilled, really a big fan. Oh, there is an instructional pamphlet. That's right, I saw that on the on the reviews on their site on Etsy. Uh, it's just a little fold out thing, so we'll take a look at that definitely. Um, I love this. I love like practical guides for outdoor survival, and so the fact that they've made it into an oracle with their own take on illustrations is just instant. Yes, this was a. Like, I, it would have been an instant yes if I actually had, like, it looks so corporate, like, so professional. I'm like, wait a minute, you just, is this just a mass, mass marketed thing made to look like a really handy homemade deck designed by two people who actually know what they're talking about? I mean, look at this uh, metallic glimmer on it. Oh, there's a hatchet, some mushrooms, shrubs. I keep seeing that type of hand around. That's great. The ranger hat, a hook, a rook. Amazing. A bear. I cannot wait any longer. It looks like it's beveled here for where it opens. There's like this tiny little notch where it'll hinge open, so that's good. Oh, it feels so stiff. I can't. I don't, I don't want to rip it. Oh. 
I'm gonna have to. All right, here we go. Oh, beautiful. The topographical lines on the inside. Oh. Yeah, this, this is an, I'd love to see the inside of the box because on the, right on the seam here, there's some images, there's some words and text there. I see elk trail, I think. That is some topographical beauty. Big fan. Oh, look at that. So minimalist. I just got chills. Oh, okay. Yep. I'm here for this. Oh, what are these two things? What is this card? Just a stiff, a stiff backing card. A seeker's journey begins. I'm going to guess there is some function for this and I don't know what it is yet, but even if not, I am loving it. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. No, there might've been something in there about a little wooden piece included, but it could be like super duper cardboard. I can't tell yet. Either way, I'm a big fan. Oh, wow. The outdoor oracles guidebook minimalist. Look at that. That's amazing. So we have, oh, I love how they did that. Look at that. The upper axis here, or the upper line, this latitude is the major arcana. The gatherer, okay, because it's an oracle deck, not tarot, but they still made major and minor. That's really interesting. So let me get my bearings here. Gatherer, angler, hunter, adventurer. Okay, these are the merits. The gatherer merit symbolizes learning from your surrounding, surroundings and collecting knowledge. Angler merit symbolizes contemplation and patiently thinking things through. This is such a quiet deck. I love it. That's going to take some time to process um, the different merits up here, but I'll get them sorted in my head. And the minor, plants, strivers, outliers, critters, Regulators, tools, afflictions, seekers. Oh, I was in judgment. <laughs> Wilderness first aid. <laughs> One of the first things you'll learn is like hand injuries. They're so common. Oh, homesteads, companions, activities, environments, animals, predators. The Outdoors Oracle is a 54-card, fully illustrated oracle deck inspired by the Northwest Outdoors, created by a nature unknown. Boo-boo. Here we go. Advertising. Created by a nature unknown, the deck can be used as a tool for self-reflection to provoke thought and to gain insight, featuring four major and 14 minor merits. Cool. It's a handy companion for the outdoor enthusiast. Co-signed. Yep. How to use it. Got a daily draw, three card draw, um, story mode. Draw cards one at a time to reveal a unique story and continue drawing until a natural ending occurs. I love that. Oh, that's definitely a campfire activity. That's fantastic. Cabin rules. Well played and nature unknown. unknown. Have fun inventing your own ways to use the cards. I love that. That's what I do with all my decks anyway. I mean, I definitely look at the guidelines that, they're, that are provided, but we'll also just go with what feels right, what's feeling right. Standard interpreting. Flavor text. That's, the f that's what that all means. No one correct interpretation. Each card has a major and minor symbol. Oh, each card has a major and minor merit symbol to the left and right of its title. Ah, it sure does. We haven't even looked at the cards yet. Merits can also be used as a way to organize the deck in interesting ways. That's really neat. Minimalist for the win. Big fan. Oh, I'm guessing just a way to keep it stiff. Secured. Snug. All right, let's open it up. This is the Outdoors Oracle from A Nature Unknown on Etsy. First complaint is with all manufacturers. I hate opening this stuff. I just, ah, ah. 
going to get the quill. Don't need to be hermetically sealed, but there's that little thing. Yes, this is why. I knew it was there, but I'm scratching up the card sides. That's okay. <sighs> I don't want to do it. All right, time to get the quill. Boop. I can see my own hand injury. Do some my own wilderness first aid on myself. Just like the good old days in 2006. Put that over there of my garbage pile. Still working on that grapefruit LaCroix. Pamplemousse. Pamplemousse? I took Spanish. I did not take French. So don't know if I am saying that right. Boop, boop. Little, little cards. These are smaller than the Friends cards, if I'm not mistaken. They're shorter. They might be the same width, but they're definitely shorter. That'll be one of my videos I'll, once I have my <laughs> complete deck, which is doubled in the last week. My uh, deck library, I will be... Uh, what do you call it? Comparing sizes here. Size matters. When I'm working with decks. Decks. I heard it. All right. Pardon me. I need to block myself from the chat. This is so neat. Here we go. Let me shuffle. I haven't looked at it yet, but I'll start shuffling now. Very easy to shuffle. Almost too easy. Like when you expect something to be heavy and it's not. Like this is just, this hand shuffle is just as easy. Um, let me see how it goes this way. They're very thin cards, glossy. They'll pass the coffee spill test. Very slippery. Slippery like the friends deck. All right. Fishing cabin. Treasuring a homestead's tranquility. I love this monochrome art. We've got shades of blue green and then some salmony orange, pink, a frame cabin in the back that sidles up to a river and a dock. Oh. No regrets. Mountain climber, conquer a se conquering a seeker's worry. Then we have the major and the minor arcana. Let's take a look then. This is the definitely the adventurer. We've got this adventurer card, Night major. Challenging your surroundings and making independent choices. <sighs> and searching for something. <laughs> Wow, these are going to go deeper than I thought they would. Because there's no descriptions, it's uh, just this combination, this triangulation of a major merit and a minor merit. <sighs> oh, chills. This is good. Let's go. want to get a quick look at the aesthetics um, not of the back I'm just putting them all in the back in the same direction this this is like a very practical oracle like this is <laughs> I know it's gonna get deep I know it's gonna give me some good insights and it's just especially meaningful to me because of my background in the woods and wilderness but Hmm. It's just going to amplify it for me. Um, here we go. Hmm. Very, very cool illustrations. <laughs> God, that looks just like some of the shelters on the AT. Appalachian Trail. Oh. 
snuck in there. Arrow leaf. They've definitely got some flora in here. The lost card. Huh. Amazing work with light and everything. Oh, beautiful. A ranger card. <gasps> Trash panda! Raccoons. Literally, flora and fauna identification book. Love that. That's great. Huh. Ooh. Eerie. These are some eerie illustrations. I'm here for it. Yurts. Oh, so good. Angler, Kingfisher, Trapper. Wow. Lewis's Woodpecker. So these injury cards are all close up of hands. Interesting. What is, no, wait, that's the afflictions cards. I'll have to do with a hand. Biologist, beautiful. Oh, God, look at that. That's stunning. Oh, oh, I miss the night sky. We saw a fishing cabin. Chicken of the woods, Leah. Leah, I'm thinking of you. <laughs> Welcoming a powerful animal's identity. This one, the major is a gatherer. Minor is antlers, ways of life. Oh man. Hunting dogs. Look at that. The lodge. Pretty decent. Oh. Whew. Brings back memories. Yikes. Jackrabbit. Wow. I love that the meadow card, it's still in winter. That's great. This is just really a quiet deck. This is the card that this deck reminds me of. Poacher. It's just lurking in the background, like accurate, attentive, intentional. Whew. Rose hip. Game warden. Cougar. Hiking cat. Mm. That's too great. I'm going to guess that's made after one of their personal cats because you don't just put a cat into an image like that without it being personal. And that cat looks loved and has a collar on. Love that. I wonder who that is. Wait. Nope, can't see anything on the little charm there. Nice. Hmm. Trouble hog. <laughs> That's amazing. Forager. River following an authentic thought. A lot like Maine. Oh. That looks like my Henry. Oh, my dog Henry that we just had to put down back in December. Um, was a flat-coated retriever with white on his neck and a big fluffy tail. He was a water dog. He didn't love the water, but he didn't grow up near it. Hi, Henry. I'll take that as a hello. Conservationist. Duck hunter. Huckleberry. I love the plant ones. Believing a growing worth. Very nice. Mountain. Facing an authentic obstacle. Oh, that's interesting way to phrase that. Huh. Forest. Perceiving an authentic unknown. Huh. Moose. Have you guys ever been portaging in canoes and come within about 50 yards of a moose? Those bitches swim fast. That was one of the scariest things that ever happened to me. They're so huge. That was in the Algonquin National Park in Canada. Uh, that was really scary. Bird watcher. Ew! Took me a minute to see what that was. 
Oh, gross. But it's a good illustration. Game Hunter, Enduring a Revered Struggle. Aw, wow. Tracking, Trailing a Calling Mortality. Interesting phrase, I don't know what that means. I'll figure it out eventually. Come on camera, focus. Thank you. Black Bear, kind of blends in with the night sky. Big fan. Look at that. Underestimating an untamed familiar. Beautiful. I would like to be friends with this <laughs> Etsy store owner. Elk. Seeing a powerful animal's ethics. Wow. All right. <laughs> this is such a different deck. This is so unique. And a very happy addition to the Dork Witch Tarot and Oracle Library because my fellow outdoor enthusiasts and anybody new to the outdoor wilderness survival lifestyle will absolutely enjoy <laughs> readings from this. And I'm definitely going to be reading for myself from it uh, for a bit before I put it in the store. So, ah, beautiful colors, very muted earth tone palette. I'm a big fan of that. I get overwhelmed easily visually. So this is really this is really lovely. Look at that. It's this earth tone rainbow. Big fan. Oh. Put that guy on top. Hey, pal. <laughs> hey, thank you, A Nature Unknown. Big fan. I highly recommend it. It's a small deck. Fits in your hiking pack. Fits in your day pack. Maybe your camelback, even. Let's tuck it back in the deck and see how it goes. Such a little, little box. The Outdoors Oracle. I don't know. I still don't. I'm not convinced what that card wood piece is for, but I'm here for it. I love it. I'm guessing it's to uh, m prevent bending uh, of the cards, which is a great call. A nice addition. Really curious if I'm missing what that's for. Oh, I don't think I am because it's going to have something to catch on when I'm closing it. Nicely done. Really love that. Very retro design. Very organic looking. Designed and produced by a nature unknown. I found them on Etsy. You can too. 10 out of 10. Would recommend. I think this silly camera would just focus when I want it to. Come on, do it. Ah, whatever. Boop. There it is. Gather a hunter. Oh, cool. Beautiful. It's just so little. Thanks for watching. Dork Witch signing off.